We are here in Vegas. I just picked my cameraman up. I got uh, my boy Nate, Mike Papa, my business partner for Pins and Feathers. I don't know, what has it been, about 11 hours, 12 hours? Um, but we just made it to Vegas. Unfortunately, we weren't getting a lot of the film um, on the drive over here, but we are still another three hours away, so we're gonna grab something to eat. These guys just stopped in um, Sportsman to grab a sleeping bag, <laughs> so we might have forgot one. He had to get one. <laughs> the camera guy. <laughs> Uh, we're good. We got the fish and feathers cop. mobile all, all loaded up. Uh, we got the Kuyu Sprinter van. We got all our stuff. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything major. I know I have my gun, my bow, and my tag, and my camo. So, we got all those things covered. Everything else, um, we're good to go. Three hours, we're going to load up, hit Costco, grab some stuff. It's game time, baby. 2019 Desert Sheep Tag. I drew this tag at the uh, Utah show. I'm one of the $5 tags. So, super uh, thankful. Definitely didn't think I'd ever be hunting desert sheep in my lifetime. So, design unit is calling our name, and we're gonna go find a big old ram tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> We just got here, um, we got a lot of work to do, so we're gonna set up camp, hopefully get some rest tonight, and uh, I think we're sleeping in the morning, I don't think we're gonna get up. Um, but we're gonna go out midday probably, I gotta shoot my gun works, make sure she's all dialed, um, and then we're gonna go out and look for some sheep. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. First morning of scouting. Well, basically gonna be our only morning of scouting. Tomorrow's season open, so we're up and at them. Um, we're gonna go see if we can find some sheep. Brad's got some areas that he's checked over the last few days and has seen some sheep, but um, none of the big, the big boys have showed up yet. So we got the crew together. We're gonna go see if we can locate uh, any of these big boys. So let's see what we can find. I've seen three or four hunters come in, uh, glass and everything, but I've never heard. I can't find them, huh? Usually right up in here, there's been some. Has there? Up in here and then back over on, somewhere back up in that canyon over there. But they always stay way high is what they told me. You'll just have to get to one of those DNR helicopters. That's right. In. You got one handy? <laughs> I landed out already, sorry. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we just found some sheep, but we didn't tell him. He said there's been a lot of people in here looking. And he said he wasn't sure if they found any. But I'm sure Brad was saying the other non-resident guy was in here yesterday. And he went up hiking over here. So and that's the direction we just found the sheep. So I'm sure he's seen them. We just gotta get to him first with the gun. Or bow. We we brought both. We'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm here to tell you, like, this ram looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Look, you can see him. Like, he, like he looks, he, yeah. I mean, good we need heavy. to give him a yeah. look, but he looks like a new ram. Yeah. Which is exactly what we want. Is he the one better? Yeah. yeah. He's facing, like, away. Yeah. Up the canyon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's pretty sexy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, I think he's like a new ram. Well, 
and we got a little bit closer. He does have some really good mass. Uh, Brad's thinking he might he might only be like a six year old, which we're kind of hoping for like eight or older. But we still really haven't got a great look of him, at him yet. So we're just gonna sit here. He's got his his use basically on the ledge in front of us. So kind of blocking him a little bit. We really need him to stand up and kind of look around to get to get that full look. So just gonna be patient here for a bit. Found some cheeps. Yeah. 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 We found one ram. He, he's a decent ram. Yeah. Get like a positive ID. Um, just see how it all goes. But we're gonna split up and do a bunch of glass in a different area. Someone needs to pick this all apart. Okay. I think from up here, which I, I might. I don't know. We'll have to see. But we gotta wait for Joe to get here. How you doing? Good. We nailed the rock, I think that was 300 yards, dead center, so feeling good. And it's time to kill a big old ram. We got uh, tonight to scout. We did find that decent ram this morning, which we still don't have a 100% uh, view on. So um, one of us is gonna sit on that one tonight, but look again, hopefully find a giant tonight, maybe bed it up and get in there and smoke them in the morning. So fingers crossed. So I just shot my gun um, and I was just telling some of these guys I didn't want to shoot in here a bunch because Brad was telling us they've killed some giants in here. And uh, I looked up just naked eye and I saw a white dot way up at the top of this, this, this canyon up here and saw it disappear. So I knew it was a sheep. And uh, we found a U. Hoping it'd be a giant ram, but still cool to see. It's just so cool. All right, so Brad is a buddy of ours. He um, knows Doyle, Doyle Moss really well, who's, who's a good buddy of mine. Um, you guys have known each other for what, over 20 years? Yeah, since high school. Nice. We went so, to the same high school. Escalante Safaris is his outfit. Um, how long have you been doing that? Since ni early 90s, so nice. about 25 years, just, just sheep and then deer and coos deer in Mexico, mule deer so in Mexico. This guy is a giant ram killing machine, so uh, very thankful to have you out helping us, man. Yeah. We appreciate all the help, and um, like I said, season starts tomorrow, so this guy's out here showing us all his honey holes, which he absolutely doesn't have to do, so uh, we really do appreciate it, man. Thank you're, you. You're, you're yeah. welcome. My yeah. pleasure. Yeah, I'm excited to hunt with you guys. You guys are great guys. Oh, thank so you. I'm Hopefully we can find a time. giant. Yeah. And I don't miss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get it Thanks. done. All right, so this is our first evening here in uh, Utah. Um, well, we got in last night, but first evening of scouting. Um, found that nice ram this morning. We are now headed up to the top of that. You guys can see that. Um, one of the, Brad's favorite lookouts. So we're gonna climb up this pretty much straight up <laughs> mountain in front of us. Um, once we get up top, we can glass for miles, basically from our left to our right and everything in between. So um, they've seen some big rams in here in past years. They've killed some big rams in here. Um, the, the biggest one in the States actually was, it was actually killed right over here. So we're going to hike up there and see if we can find that big boy. Let's go.
guys. We just got back to camp. The only thing we saw tonight was a U. I know these guys saw about a 150, 155 type Ram. My buddy Goat, we call him Goat, his name's Brent, um, just got to camp, so he's gonna be here for the next few days with us, helping us uh, try to find a big old Ram. So tomorrow is opening morning. We got some tamales that we got from Costco on the Traegers. Uh, we got some bag salads. We're gonna eat uh, dinner, unwind for a sec, and then probably hit the hay. We're gonna get up early and see what we can find tomorrow. So there's obviously been some giant rams killed in this unit in years past. For me, ideally, I'd like to shoot a ram that's at least, you know, 165, probably seven, eight year old or older. Um, that's kind of the age class that we're looking for. Means they've just reached maturity. Usually, typically, a big heavy ram. I'm a, I'm a sucker for mass too, so. That's what we're looking for. Brad was in here searching for the sportsman's tag for like 10 days straight, um, two weeks ago. He didn't turn up any any rams, I don't think even over 165, so there is one. He is a half horn. Looks like he busted off half of his left side, but here in Utah, the way that they score these rams, and he's an older ram, he's like an eight or nine year old. Um, and that's definitely a ram that I'd probably consider shooting. In Utah, the way they score it is they take the, the good side, the good horn, and double it. So Brad's guess him to be about, what do you say, 167? Mm -hmm. So that's a damn good ram. I'd, I would definitely be happy with that. Um, obviously want to try to find, there's a couple that were in here the last few years that he calls Jorge and Gringo that should be in the low 70s, low to mid 70s. So. Um, those are the kind of the number one hit listers, but uh, we do have a couple backups. So we'll see what we can find. Austin, I don't know if I, did I introduce Austin? Austin, uh, another one of Doyle's guys, one of those mossback, one of those mossback creatures you all keep hearing about. But um, now uh, Austin lives close by, so he donated his time for a couple days to come down and show us some of his honey holes. Um, he's off over there glassing that side, and we are up at the top right here glassing this basin below. Um, you can see a ton of trails coming off there's, um, looks like a dried up riverbed below, but mm, there might be some water holes still down there but by the looks of those trails. So we're gonna try to find a 195 in here right now. I can feel it deep down in my loins. <laughs> sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. No, we're not even talking like sharp cheddar. We're talking like, <laughs> You're a cheese whiz kind of guy. No. I don't know. Ah, oh, I hope Luke brought me some Mountain Ops Blaze. They were, I know they were all out and he was gonna go dig into the secret stash before he left. Hopefully he found some. I just feel like, like if I was a big ram. I already told you, you wouldn't be around anymore. <laughs> I would be bedded up right here on this shady slope. Steep, 
but it's open enough to where I can see everything because I'm a sheep and I can see really well, you know? Like, there's a golden eagle flying my way. Like, get out of here, golden eagle. <laughs> like, kick it. Uh, so they're right under a giant, that giant Christmas tree that's up on that steep that part. Dude, that's a good boy. Below the Christmas tree. You see him? I don't think that's even one that was with those, was it? I think he's just a different ramp. That's not the one that was in any of those videos. yesterday morning scouting um, this morning some of the guys came back in here and found a group I think of four um, rams and then a bunch of you so we scouted a bunch and hunted a bunch of places this morning came back in here um, I don't know around five and I glassed up a pretty damn good ram right on the edge of the rock face 95% sure he's a shooter we just wanted to close the distance and go see if we can get a better look we're gonna head up to the top of this mountain right here and peek over and we should be within gun range. So um, last time we saw him, he was just chilling there. He did see us, so hopefully he's just, just chilling still. So let's go take a look. Just wait. Just to the right. So you were just a touch high. Oh, fuck. He's right there behind that tree. Get, just wait. Just see. wait. Damn it. Just wait. You're good. Dude, that felt so good. Hey, grab me another bullet. Look at two. He's behind what tree? Bro, right above him. There he is. Hold on. Hold on. He's coming up. Oh, that's a Whenever you're ready. Wait, wait, wait. 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 When he stops. Stops not behind the tree. They're high. He's going left. He's going. Okay. If he stops, oh, just wait. You're going to aim a little lower as he's getting closer. Rearrange him, rearrange him. It's coming down. Nate. Oh. Nate. Hey, get ready, guys. Yell? No. Fuck. This way. He's alright. Alright, he's gonna stop. Woo! 
Right there, right there. Got him. Got him dead center of his body. Nice. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Tell me where. Hold up. He's standing. I see him. You see him? Yep, yeah, we'll go again. If you can get another in him, go. Got him. Got him. Front shoulder. Perfect shot. Here you go. Get another one. Just in case. Just in case. Just wait. Just wait. He's down. He's going down. Just wait. Be ready. I think he's dead. He's dead. You go down? Yeah. He's right there in that bush right below where you just shot. Mark it. Nice, boys. All right, Joe, he's down. Can you keep an eye on that spot? Did that just happen, dude? Right now. I'm not moving. Huh? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Desert Bighorn down, baby. We just hiked, I don't even know how far, but where we closed the dis distance to uh, about 700, it was like 696. Um, pretty steep. I just got um, this new Gunworks scoped with, uh, scoped with the Vortex Razor, uh, the AMG, and uh, felt comfortable, shot it, felt good, everything felt smooth. Um, you know, in all honesty, we really couldn't get any closer. The dude had a, a solid perch and actually looked down at us quite a few times. Um, I think we were just far enough away that it didn't really spook him too bad. But uh, sent one and I think I was inches either high or low. These guys said high. I thought it was low, but I'll have to rewatch. That was so cool. Oh, never in my entire life did I think I'd be hunting desert bighorn, especially in Utah, which is one of my favorite states in the world. Almost moved here. Uh, it's still a possibility, but it's so awesome to have my good buddies, Goat, um, all these guys on this hunt with me. I have a handful of guys that, that made the trek out that wanted to just come be a part of this and help and just be a set of eyes and absolutely amazing man um, I just can't wait to get up there and get my hands on them as you guys can see we're gonna have an insane hike to go get that thing so uh, it's gonna be a long night I'm ready though Absolutely no ground shrinkage on this dude. That is a monster. <laughs> what do you think, Nate? Oh my god. He's a big boy. Heavy. Not gonna lie, that might have been the only time in my life where I've been 100% like legit scared for my life on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> this thing died in like the steepest, like craziest little ledge. We had a tiny little platform to do all the meat cutting and like caping and everything. And uh, dude, it was. It was pretty treacherous going up and still coming down, but success. We got a beautiful, beautiful, mature ram. You can't help but feel safe when you have Paul Bride leading the way. <laughs> Paul's been guiding us all the way down the mountain, the legendary Paul Bride. But 
Let's get to camp. We are hungry. And alive. And alive, which is always a good thing. Oh, they were in the bottom. They were on that spring when we were up here. See, they're coming out the bottom. Is this our guys or not? I don't know. treacherous as hell. I bet it was. I was afraid for my life multiple times. Yeah? Here. Ah! Give me all that sand. <laughs> yes! Congratulations, yeah. guys. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, you died all over the that's wow. awesome. Wow. That's hey. awesome. Woo. I said you were going to have an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was, he was right at the tree. All Appreciate night. it. All the tree. Yeah, he so, was alive. Dude, Congrats, care. buddy. Thanks, nice yeah. job, bro. I'm so glad you guys are here for all this. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Chad, oh my <laughs> gosh.